camera buff or amateur made in 1979 is definitely the first Krzysztof Kieślowski masterpiece. The feature fictional film which opened the door for Kieślowski in many ways to an international audience even though his fully fledged success will come only towards the end of the 1980s. But Hammer Above did win awards, the main award at the Moscow Film Festival, and also an award in Chicago, and international moviegoers and critics started slowly to realize that there is a very interesting director working in Poland at that time. Of course, Kieślowski was working at the time for more than a decade, but it was really Hammer Above that opened or at least started to open the doors for him. The story of Kamera Buff is that of Philip Mosch, who works in a factory somewhere in Poland, somewhere in southern Poland, and who at one point acquires a film camera to film his infant daughter, to document her growth. He is the Kamera Buff, the amateur of the title, and it seems at the beginning that the camera will be simply a private possession of his, making private home movies, at a time at which, it needs to be noted, cameras weren't wildly available for Polish citizens. Actually, Philip mentions that it's quite an expensive gadget to buy, and yet he acquires it. However, he discovers within him a budding artist. It's no longer enough for him just to make home movies. The director of the factory at which he works asks him to document the life of the factory, and pretty soon Philip Mosch becomes a documentarian. And in a way, he becomes Kieślowski himself, because there's definite truth in Kieślowski's portrayal of Philip Mosch's discovery of himself as an artist. It's definitely self-referential. Philip learns that he is an artist. Philip learns filmmaking. Philip Mosch becomes a film director before our very eyes. However, in a communist state, nothing comes without its price. And very soon, Philip Mosch is subject to censorship. First on the factory level, then on a wider national television level. And Philip Mosch really needs to answer a question. Do I want to be a filmmaker in a country that doesn't really uh, allow me the freedom of speech that every filmmaking and every artistic act requires? So this is the main question of the film. We can see the portrait of an artist as a young man, as it were, and also we can see the private price that he is paying for developing his passion for film. Ultimately, the film stands at the exact crossroads of Krzysztof Kieślowski's filmography. At the time when he was abandoning documentary filmmaking and when he was acquiring fiction feature filmmaking as his main mode of expression. The final gesture of Philip in which he turns the camera upon himself and becomes a personal filmmaker, documenting his own life, his own feelings, is really indicative of Kieślowski's own transformation into a filmmaker who, in the 1980s, will almost exclusively focus on very intimate and private feelings of his characters and will become a master fictional filmmaker, no longer a simple camera buff.